stopped at this little out of the way place. It's called Farrow Creek Hotel or pub. I'm shitting beers. So, uh, yeah, way out in the middle of nowhere, a couple of little hills and things. Believe it or not, there's caravan park here. And uh, looks like a bit of a roadhouse uh, store and things. So, we'll go and have a look at this quirky little place. So, this is what the inside of the Barrow pub looks like. And sure has got some history in here. Some fabulous drawings, signatures, memorabilia, photos, t-shirts, not to mention all the, all the money and the uh, what do you call them, business cards and things that are around the place. Number plates. Absolutely. Keep your reading for years. Well, not to mention you can have beer. They do serve alcohol. And pies and some souvenirs. What a spot. Hey, welcome. This is where we're going to rest tonight. Doesn't it look fantastic? So we're at Jeffrey's Rest. It's just a stone's throw away from the Barrow Creek um, pub or hotel or campsite. But this will do us nicely. Beautiful views. Um, there's a bit of room. It's, it's a little bit wonky out here as far as trying to find a, a good spot, especially without having to use wedges and things. Got some visitors here already, so uh, we're not going to be alone, which is good. By the uh, Barrow Creek Hotel, I don't know whether you can see it, but just over there you can see some structures. So it's not too far away from there. So it's a great spot and looking forward to a great sunset heading down over this way tonight. But uh, hopefully Jude will be able to get the drone up and uh, check out some of this footage. It's beautiful. So we're going to stay here and then uh, we've still got the, uh, the next slog up towards uh, the Devil's Marbles Hotel. So. We'll just rest and take it easy. Got the deck chair out. Got a nice long water. <laughs> Spot you soon. Welcome back to our travels, sweet as RVing. 
we left um, Jeffrey's uh, spot. We stayed there another day. It was very, very nice. Oh, the up elevated on the hill there, overlooking just spectacular views, great sunsets. Uh, really nice. It was quiet. Not, not, not very level in places, so you really had to look uh, for a good spot. And um, but it was nice and quiet from the road. Um, yeah, it was good. Anyway, so we moved on. Um, I made a bit of a goof. Uh, I thought everything was all good for Devil's Marbles. I had a look when I was back in Alice Springs and saw that, oh yeah, there's plenty of spaces available for Dev Devil's Marbles because you've got a book online with the national parks um, for accommodation there. And um, then you pay to, I think, go around. I haven't got to that part yet, but to get there, I thought, yeah, we were all right, but I wasn't too sure what day I was going to make it to the Devil's Marbles. So I put it on the back burner. Well, yesterday, it was kind of like, hey, June, we're looking at being up there probably in a couple of days' time. How's it looking? Well, of course, with the Fink races back down in uh, Alice Springs, everybody started moving around again, and, um, yeah, there wasn't a lot of spaces available. So I managed to squeeze in um, a day later than what I wanted. So uh, instead of being like a Monday, it's going to be a Tuesday. Um, and the other thing you've got to be careful about is the site sizes. So there's a couple of really big mega sizes, which would have been absolutely great. Could have still stayed hooked up and would have been good. However, the site we've got, I'm going to have to detach so that um, we can fit in. So um, not the end of the world, but uh, yeah, just a little uh, a little out there for, for users going out that way. <laughs> plan ahead if you want to but I've got no idea what the weather's going to do anyway so we left um, Jeffrey we only traveled about 30 40 k's up the road for another bit of uh, scenery this one here is huge look at it this actually used to be uh, a World War II staging area so as far as I could work out is that when the troops were down in Alice Springs they were coming up in numbers so they would send like um, three sporadic parties up this way for the day um, they would call in and then of course they'd be fed, watered, slept and uh, all lined up ready for the next um, drive towards Darwin. So I think um, yeah, there was here, there was Banker Banker and there was another one as well. So haven't been to one of these spots since we sort of were doing the top of the north and seeing all this um, World War emplacements and things. So everything's all gone apart from the... Um, what do you call it, the foundations, there's some um, concrete foundations around the place, which are great to park on, I was going to park at a con concrete foundation, which looked good, I found one, I thought yeah this is okay, but there was ants, so I thought mm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to try and get rid of ants out of the van, so I've opted for no ants, but I'm going to have to clean the van with dust, <laughs> it's very dusty, but it is a great spot, the Taylor River I believe is just over the side, which can flood from time to time, um, it's a good um, kilometre from the road so it's going to be very quiet sun going down in the distance I don't know how good a sunset we're going to get it's a little cloudy um, but yes yeah, space I mean if I look really really hard I might see about eight or nine campers but I'm pretty sure there's a lot more in here but it's because the area is just so big so there we have it in a nutshell we're just gonna yeah, so once again just take a little stop here next stop hopefully um, I'm going to there's a UFO place um, do -do 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 -do. <laughs> we're going to check out I believe it's all closed up but um, I'm not too sure what to expect but we're going to that tomorrow and then we'll get an early um, park up hopefully for the Devil's Marbles Hotel and then the next day we'll sounds like we're going to be doing two nights pretty excited wanted to tick off my bucket list the Devil's Marbles stay with us
Oh, made it to this awesome little destination. Sadly, the place is closed down. So uh, I was prepared for it being closed down. I saw it in the reviews and it didn't look promising. Apparently there was a, a flood through here or something. I don't know, some of the reviews on wiki camps. And uh, yeah, I don't know whether it upset the tanks or something, but they were hoping, that was about Christmas time. And they were hoping that uh, they'll get it cranking back up again. So uh, nothing is yet at um, Wycliffe. Wycliffe uh, well, and uh, it's known as the, uh, UFO center so it's quite cool because it kind of reminds me of like uh, Roswell or is it area 51 I think it is Jude yeah <laughs> but um, hey if it's anything to go by where we stayed uh, last night out at the um, uh, the Barrow Creek World War II um, staging area um, we stepped out there at night and uh, the the heavens the stars are just absolutely awesome and if you were to spot a UFO it would stand out like nobody's business so i've got some some kind of reason that this is some kind of thinking that this is why it's here so uh we'll have a, a quick look around but as i say a lot of it's all um locked up but um a huge big um uh, caravan park or motorhome park and things a lot of high grass it's amazing i mean what is it probably eight months if it closed around christmas time and man it doesn't take long for nature to uh, start taking things over but it'd be really nice to see if this thing could uh, crank back up so we're not far from our next destination, but we'll have a quick little gander around here. Here we go, just as I suspected. It says here that uh, the White Cliff Well is renowned for the bazaar. Whilst UFO sightings may seem peculiar, there's a White Cliff local desert dweller that is simply extraordinary. Oh well, there you have it. A Whitecliffe Well Roadhouse. Looks like it'd take a little bit to get it up and going again. <laughs> but uh, great little spot to call in and uh, see the mysterious goings on in Whitecliffe Well. Yes, guess what? We have finally made it. We're at the Devil's Marbles Hotel. <laughs> no, not actually made it to the Devil's Marbles yet. We've only made it to the hotel. But um, yeah, so we found a little spot over here. I'm just gonna walk over and uh, say good day to the publican. But uh, there's a few people turning up here already. Popular little spot apparently. There's some people leaving that were here last night and said it was uh, she was jockers. It was like a big uh, pull up like stagecoaches and everything everywhere. Um, hey, just a, a little uh, reminder too. The bloke, oh, he's just pulling, not this one here, not that one there, but behind that one, he's looking at me at the moment, I think, their vehicle, right there. He just pulled into the Devil's Marbles Hotel and his brakes locked up on the rear left. And so I'm not a me mechanic and I don't know what's going on, but, um, we just checked the wheel nuts. <laughs> He's lost three and the other two are only finger tight. So talk about a lucky save coming into a place like this and finding that rather than the wheel disappearing out into the bush somewhere. So yeah, just a 
friendly reminder. Have a little nip around. He did say they were, they were tight. He uh, tested not long ago. So yeah, don't know what's happened, but uh, that's what we're looking like. And uh, Devil's Marble Hotel. We'll go and check it out. So, yep, here we are, we're booking here for tea tonight, the Devil's Marbles Hotel. This is the bar, it's beautiful. Uh, they're doing happy hour between five and six, and uh, their dinner menu looks good. I'm really keen for a Nazi Gori. They've got Barra, Northern Territory Barra. I wonder where the dude will be into that. But uh, yeah, it looks good. And uh, the publican's beautiful. She just said, uh, hey, feel free to uh, come out into the garden bar and enjoy some facilities. So we're going to have a look out here. Right, I just stepped out the back. Garden bar, all the facilities, uh, I knew it was going to be that way. At the back here are all uh, booked out. So there's a, a park up area out right there for your van or um, um, I'd call them dongers, but uh, luxury accommodation, swimming pool. And uh, couldn't help but notice um, award winning um, I think they only missed out on 17, I think it was, but yeah, plenty of good uh, hospitality um, awards there. There's a nice spot. Well, I've just gone over here to come out, well, just come over here to come and have a look at a couple of wrecks. Not that wreck. <laughs> Those wrecks. But uh, who knows, that one there might have uh, hit a kangaroo on the road or something. It's, uh, not going anywhere in a hurry. But anyway, these little beauties. It's got a lot of patina on these. I love this one on the end. This one here's a beauty. Got no idea what they are. I'm not a a big time vintage car enthusiast, but uh, not that I do like vintage cars, but look at the beauty. I bet you that was a shop truck. Probably, it'd be nice with Devil's Marbles written on it still, wouldn't it? It's awesome. All right, Devil's Marbles Hotel. We have elected to come from the outside to the inside. The AC is pumping, it's nice and cool. The sun's going down, it's in your face out there, but a beautiful um, little garden bar. And of course the pool. Looks very inviting, somebody's, somebody's just got out of it. Um, in this little restaurant, beautiful um, artwork, some photo photography, there's the murals, some photography around the place, and in here you have oh, a beautiful little setting for two. There's a seats, seats down here for, for two people in the, the cellar. <laughs> More artwork around the place. So yeah, pretty awesome little spot. and. Uh, we're just going to be down here and uh, Juice is putting an order in now, so looking forward to a yummy tucker at the Devil's Marbles. Bring it on. Oh well Jude, a summary of tucker. How good was it? Huge, huge. Hence the doggy bag. Doggy bag. <laughs> Nazi Goring was awesome, what did you have? Salt and pepper calamari? Yep, salt and pepper calamari. Tick, tick, boom. Company, people. It was great. Fantastic spot. Setting sun, need to say any more. I need to go for a walk to walk it all off. <laughs> you can walk to the Devil Marbles. Uh, not. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Peace out. So here we are in the uh, urbanite camping area at Cola Cola. There's a bunch of decent size um, parks. Just make sure you check the sizes when you do your booking. Make sure you fit. 
I thought it was going to be a bit close, but yeah, plenty of room. So yeah, two big uh, shaded areas here. Barbecue pits, bring your own firewood. Um, and there's one, two, there's three toilet blocks. They get well used, so be prepared. Um, so yeah, a great little spot here. There's also a bit of a, um, a rough interpretation. Well, no, a better interpretation than what I could probably do on how the uh, rocks were formed. And another one over this side here, which is talking about the uh, the dream time of the uh, the color color. All right. Right, finally on our way. We arrived here yesterday, it was really windy. I was hoping for less wind today, but it's still got a little bit there, but it's beautiful. It's nice and cool, it's not hot yet. It's due to get hot. Um, so we're on the Yakula walk, I think it is. It's about a uh, 1.5 kilometer walk around a, uh, a marbly, area of the devil's marbles you can see them just scattered all over the place so early into the walk this is only about a half hour walk it's just a warm-up and then uh, we'll go on the shorter walk but the climb around the hills there this one here behind me not only does it look like he's been playing marbles but he's also been playing a game of jenga as well seeing if he can stack them all up now jenga you gotta pull them down don't you <laughs> and then these two this is a Pretty good balancing game as well. They're amazing, everywhere. Right, we're taking this little, little walk. It's about um, half an hour, I think it was the my eye jungu walk <laughs> excuse my pronunciation so about eight nine hundred meters and it's um about half an hour there's also a little detour i think to the lookout we're going to go and do so this gets you up nice and close to these boulders the devil's marbles now over this side behind the camera there's uh signs saying that it's uh culturally uh significant and uh it would be appreciated that no filming or um, photographs were taken so got to respect the uh, aboriginal people around for that so hence we're looking over this way but they are pretty spectacular there's heaps of um you can see it all in here the, the trees the trees are obviously growing because of the shelter um traps water and things so there's be insects there'd be birds and um, there'll also be um, kangaroos and stuff and I've also seen areas where um, water is trapped on some of these rock areas as well so uh, pretty significant for the uh, Aboriginal people where they would uh, come for they say food and water and uh, beautiful cool shelter and things as well so we'll try and get back on the old trail again all right just stopped here now, uh, 1,700 million years ago, this was all formed from molten magna that was pushed up from the Earth's core to the crust. So this is one big giant slab of granite. It's amazing. Um, but over the period of time, it ended up getting these longitudinal and latitudinal cracks in it. And then into that, you get your water, your expansion, your contraction, um, and you start getting erosion. And, um, you know, as you can see up here, we're possibly a, a longitudinal and a latitudinal line sort of sculpturing this little ball as the, the wind would funnel around it and things. So oh, I'm not a geologist, but uh, when you see lines like this on the ground, you can definitely uh, start piecing why it's all come about. But of course over millions of years oh and they reckon there's heaps underneath this so it'll be a long time coming the track itself's nice and easy 
um, because of all the erosion and things you get all these little marbles and they are they do tend to be a little bit skiddy so make sure you've got good footwear well how's that dude we made it obviously we've got to watch the uh, culturally sensitive area over here but we get the view um where we were devil's creek uh, marbles devil's marbles pub is down that way going back over towards the sun we're heading up towards um tenant creek yeah i'd think about that for for a minute but yeah we finally did it because the hug we, <laughs> we ticked it off the bucket list just to think nearly a year ago we came from over there to three ways turned into tenant creek and then turned and headed up towards Darwin and we missed this so here we are at last made it to the Devil's Marbles and it has not disappointed it's a good place no must, it's absolutely great must come and hey spend a couple of days we got an early uh, yesterday got our bound uh, bearings and um, waiting for everybody else to go and then early morning this morning we got all this along with the flies <laughs> <laughs> yo right last of the three walks i am going to complete this one it's a 4k loop it says one and a half hour it's easy grade two so uh it is getting a bit warm but i uh, just stopped off at the van freshened up and uh ready for this little one so it's just a, a flatter walk but in amongst you know you can see all these crazy crazy little boulders marbles <laughs> go and take them all in and um, we, when we go around over this top bit, it sounds like we uh, loop in with the uh, the day area where you can stop and uh, view things from the day area. Example of those latitude and longitude lines. Um, this part obviously gets a bit of water. But you can see the lines going in one direction and the other lines crossing in the other direction. 